He's on fire. Fantastic performance. Oh, what a leap. Takes a superb catch. What a win. That's done it. The whole team running over to celebrate. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Laughing Cody. This is Cricket 19, and I have the T10 Diversity League, or the Minnows Diversity League. Game number one in Group A, it's going to be Afghanistan versus UAE. If you do not know what this league is or the rules of this league, there's a really short video that I uploaded yesterday or the day before yesterday. One of these days, uh, check it out, watch it real quick, and then come back to this video. But yeah, let's get into the first game of this league. All teams are selected by the fans. And if you want to participate, go ahead. Become a channel member. You will get a place in the next league that I do once you become a channel member. Now then, let's start the game. All right, first game in this year's T10 Di Minnows Diversity League is Afghanistan versus United Arab Emirates. There are the two lineups. Afghanistan is selected by Tommy who should be in the comments down below. And uh, UAE team was selected by Abdullah, who should also be in the comments. So those two are the coaches. They're the ones who selected the players and will be selecting the lineups for each game as well. Rashid Khan captaining Afghanistan with a coin. And heads it was from UAE, and it's gonna be a tail. So Rajat Khan, Afghanistan have won the toss. Rajat Khan have got a decision to make here, whether to ball first or bat first. And he has chosen to put UA into bat first. Alrighty then. Right, but that's Sir Bukhari from Netherlands to open the bowling for Afghanistan. And he'll be bowling to Alikhil from Afghanistan. Thick edge outside. And that's going to race away to the boundary for four runs. First boundary of the day comes, well, off the very first delivery. Thick outside edge. Gets a bit lucky, though, as that could have easily traveled into the hands of the fielder. That was not in control at all, but he'll get the, he'll take the boundary. He'll take it all day, every day. And he's a very good wicketkeeper. Young player. Yeah, that's a good shot. He's hooked that one away. That's going to be four runs as well. Right, he's looking good. He's looking fine, Nick. And... Uh, He's doing well here for UAE. Rajat Khan comes in to the attack, the skipper himself. And let's see what kind of an impact he will have on this game. Michael comes on to the strike. Rajat Khan first delivery yep. to Michael. What a shot that is. There's a fielder there on the rope who will stop it. And they're pushing back for the second. They will get it as well. That is good running between the sticks. This is uh, he's looking all right so far. Oh, that was the wrong one. The one off the back of the wrist. Oh, Marty, then look at that. Deceived him completely. Michael's gone inside edge, that was. He was uh, representing UAE from originally plays for Scotland, but he's gone now. UAE loses first wicket. First wicket of the tournament by Rashid Khan. Going for three of five deliveries. And now who's he going to be replaced by? Michael Isk will be replaced by Peter Moore, who is from Zimbabwe. So coming at number three is Zimbabwean for UAE. Love it. But sure. Uh, I think he's got a bit of bat on it. Even if he doesn't, I think it's going to go down the light stump. And uh, not out is a good decision in the end by Rasmus. I don't think they should review this. Like I said, there's a bit of bat involved, bottom edge, and also, let's take a look. It's the white one. I thought that was going to miss the stump. Yeah, so it wasn't even going to go on to hit the stump, even if it hadn't hit the bat. Bukhari brought back into the attack. Lovely flick of the wrist from Imran Ali Khail of Afghanistan. He's looking very good. I think he's going to be the pick of the batsman for him. Like I said, he's done really well in the past for Afghanistan. He's doing well for UAE here as well. Peter Moore, not looking too good. Well, 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 he's gone. Rashid Khan strikes again. Another wicket for the skipper himself. And it's Peter Moore, the guy who really didn't look like he was going to get going. I mean, he's only scored one run of, well, that'll be his ninth delivery. And he's finally gone. So not a great start for uh, UAE. They've lost two quick wickets, and they haven't got too many runs on the board. I mean, if it wasn't for Akram, they wouldn't even have 10 runs. They would have lost two wickets. Tom Cooper comes out to bat now. And uh, Netherlands, he has represented before. Now he is representing United Arab Emirates. 
Oh, trying to be a bit too cheeky. It's from one Afghan to another. Normally they're on the same side, Rashid Khan and Ikram. But in this case, they're against each other and he's gone. It's delivery, sharp turn. I think he was hoping, Ali Khil was hoping for that one to turn away from him. He was hoping for a googly, the wrong one. That would allow him a bit of room to uh, play the cut shot, but no, came back into him. Curtis Kamfa now, he is an exciting talent from Ireland. Played a few games against England, he performed really well, so I'm very much looking forward to Imran Haider, who will be bowling for uh, Afghanistan here. Imran Haider uh, represented uh, UAE before, so he's playing against his former team, well, his current team, but in this league, uh, we'll just say it's his former team. That's why I love these kind of leagues so much. That's a lovely shot from Curtis. It's because you get things like this. You've got Imran Haider who normally plays for UAE, but in this case he's playing against UAE. Oh, it's a risky shot that came back into him, but he somehow still managed to put it away. This is what I was talking about, Curtis. I'm very much looking forward to seeing him in action, and he's not disappointed so far. McBrien. The Irish international bowling to the Dutch international. I thought he got him, but no, Cooper clears the mid-wicket fielder and uh, that's gone to the boundary for four. Andy McBrien. Oh, it's a lovely shot. Didn't think he had enough uh, room to execute that shot, but well, he's made it work, Tom Cooper. Yes. It goes over mid-wicket again. Got a long one, but... It's too fine. Cooper moves on to 14 with that lovely bit of batting here. It's not good at all from McBrien. He's given up way too many runs. He's given up 12 to be exact. That'll be 13. Nearly got a wicket though. Did not carry unfortunately for Afghanistan. It's a bit too short. That's a very clever shot from Curtis. The two Irish players taking each other on. Love to see it. It's been a very expensive over, and well, it continues on being expensive because Curtis have gone over cover and collects four there as well. So that's what, 19 runs and one over. That is just not acceptable. No, sorry, confirmation, not 19. Added even more. 21 runs in that over. Unbelievable. Oh, and Nubby comes into the attack now. There he gets him. There he goes. First delivery, he strikes. Mohamed Nubby for you. He can do it with a ball, he can do it with a bat, he can do it all. And that is the reason why Tommy has picked him. He's retained him, I should say, because you can only have two Afghan players. The rest has to be all from different Minnow nations. And he's retained Rashid Khan and Mohamed Nabi. I think those are two players that I would have retained as well. Because both of them, very classy bowlers, particularly Rashid Khan. And the both of them can bat well as well. So we've got an entire package in the two of them. So uh, that's very good selection from Tommy, at least in those two players. We're yet to see how the others will do. That's a very clever shot from Mustafa. And that's going to be four runs. Yes, okay, I thought the fielder might stop it, but no. It's gone for four. Mustafa, who is originally from UAE, so he's playing for his home nation. And, uh, well, captaining, because the captain can only be from the home nation. So uh, it's good to see, he's doing uh, well so far. Well, on that first delivery at least he did well. Sekandar Razano, he's a very talented bowler from Zimbabwe. Originally from Pakistan. A place for uh, Zimbabwe, in this case he's playing for Afghanistan. Close to Pakistan, but uh, not quite close enough. Gives up four runs on that occasion. Oh, I think that might be out. Has that hit him in the helmet? I'm not entirely sure, actually. Is it even... Can it be given out if he's hit it in the helmet? I'm not... I don't know how that works. All right, they've not reviewed it. It looked pretty close to me, but that's all right. Stuff on strike. He's done well so far. That's a very clever shot. That is a very clever shot, and he'll collect four runs for it. All the matches are, by the way, in England. And the first game at the Kia Oval, the iconic Oval. That's a good shot straight down the ground. Leading from the front like a captain should, Mustafa. 
It's uh, entered his 20s. That's quite a lot of runs in a T10. Normally, 20 to 30 runs not really seen as an achievement, but in a T10, oh, that's a six. Curtis, lovely. 22 moves on to that. Yeah, I was saying in a T10, going over 20 is quite a lot of runs. Let's say 30 is equal to a 50 in T10. He's not stopping. He's not stopping anytime soon. That is a beautiful shot for four runs. 25 he brings up of just nine deliveries. Going out well over 200 strike rate. Even over 250. Hey there. Oh, on the legs. That's not where you want to ball them. Not when they're in that kind of form. That's gone for six. Curtis will take it all day, every day. Lovely hit. 94 meters long. Look at that. <laughs> Shorter side of the stadium as well, and off his pads, it's just easy for him. I should try and try and adjust the field, although he should be talking to the bowler to adjust the line instead. So I don't think you can put a fielder outside of the rope. And that's the only way you're stopping that one, that's much better. It's not going to be out, I think it's drifting down the leg stump. He's made a good recovery. Well, I spoke too soon, is that going to go all the way for six? There's a fielder coming under it, but all he's going to do is watch it sail over the rope. For six runs, Curtis Camper. Alrighty then. It's having fun out there. 35 he moves on to with that lovely shot. They've got two deliveries still left in this innings. And uh, they'll definitely look to get as many runs as possible in those last two deliveries. It's gonna be too much room. That's a lovely shot over point. They've got a fielder on the rope. He will not get to it in time to stop it from going to the boundary for four. 39 from Curtis. It's a good pick, he's turning out to be a good one, and it was a last minute pick as well. It was an emergency pick, he hadn't initially picked this player. But isn't he glad Abdullah that he's uh, finally got him on his side? UAE is looking alright, 97 they're on. If they can cross 100, I think that'll be a good target. Oh, missed it, he was trying to be a bit too cheeky. So 97 is the total, 98 the target. I think it's not going to be, it's going to prove to be a bit difficult. Like I said, about that 100 run mark is a good one. And uh, quite an innings that was from the skipper himself, Mustafa. And then uh, Curtis as well. Ali Khan from USA to open the bowling for UAE. Oh, outside edge, but it came off the ground, so it will not be given. And out, Anishman Arath on strike for Afghanistan. Oh, it's a good shot straight down the ground. That's more like it. A bit more of that. Oh, that's gone all the way for six, I think. Yes, it has. Lovely bit of batting. It's quite a hit. He plays for Hong Kong, by the way, Arath. And uh, Adnan Elias at the other end, plays for Oman. Oh, he's gone. A straight in front, Ali Khan. First ever USA player, by the way, to play in the IPL. And he's playing here in this league as well. He's got his first wicket as well for UAE. That's the wicket of Elias from uh, Oman. Represent Afghanistan here, going for a duck. Jean-Pierre Kotze. Originally placed for Namibia today, obviously. Represent Afghanistan, Sufyan Mahmoud to come in to bowl next for UAE. Sufyan plays for Oman in this case. UAE, lovely shot from Rath on the offside. Has that gone for six? Yes, it has. Anushman is dealing in sixes. Lovely. First runs of the day were off a of six. Now he's got his second six already. Quite a welcome he's given to Sufyan, by the way. <laughs> Sufyan decides to come on around the wicket. It's not going to work. Not against uh, Anishman Rath. He's given up another boundary. He's not looking too happy with himself. Anishman plays for Hong Kong. I've never really heard his name, but I should, because look at the way he's playing. That's 21 runs up of just seven deliveries. Oh, the lefty is looking to end this game and end it in style. Sufyan giving up 14 runs already. Oh, that came back into him sharply. Yeah! Erasmus thinks it's out. Will they refer it? I mean, they should have looked a bit high to me because it's hit him on the thigh. 
there's always that doubt although he is a short batsman Anishman Rat but he's gone for 21 of 80 he's not decided to review it that's a very good innings that's come to an end like I said 21 runs in AT tennis quite a lot of runs Joe Root the special player being used by Afghanistan in the very first match after this match they've got one more match to use Root in and after that Root can no longer play Cut, sir. Plays straight to point. A risky single, and that's the end of Joe Root. Oh, wow. Okay, then. That's quite a way to lose your special player. <laughs> well, well. He scored two runs. I can't even say he's had no impact on the game because he has scored two runs. So there's, there's that. <laughs> Oh, I don't think Corzo will be welcomed back in the duckout with uh, open hands unless he goes on to score a 50 here because he's got Joe Root, their special player who only gets two matches total. <laughs> Run out. <laughs> it's gone for just two runs. All righty then. Mohamed Nabi, there he is. The hard hitter of the ball from Afghanistan comes out to bat. Oh, that's a shot and a half. That's going to go to the boundary for four, actually. It might have gone for six. Hadn't, though. One swing and delivery. That is straight in front, and that's yeah. the end of Mohamed Nabi. And all of a sudden, Afghanistan is in a bit of a trouble. Well, well. Did not expect this. The way Rath was going, I thought he would uh, continue on going. Well, he was gone. And after that, we've got Joe Root, the special player whose first game was wasted, let's be honest. And now Mohamed Nabi, another strong batter, has gone. Preston Mumsen is the next batsman to walk out to the middle. He plays for Scotland, by the way, if you did not know. And well, he's gone as well. Alrighty then. Five wickets lost, 28 runs. Ali Khan, he's turning out to be quite a pick. Okay. <laughs> He's had a huge impact on this game already. It's a very good catch by the wicket keeper, Ikram. Yevran International playing against his nation today. But he's got a job to do and he's doing it in style. Preston Moms and Gun for, well, a golden one. Sekunda Raza from uh, Zimbabwe playing for Afghanistan today. He can bat, he's an all rounder. Let's see how well he fares against. Sufyan Mahmoud. Mahmoud goes short. Razab for the challenge. He's hooked that one away, and that's four runs. Oh, that looks close. Umpire. Oh, he's not going to give it. Oh, he's not going to give that. It looked out to me. Maybe he was thinking about the impact, which, you know, I don't really agree with that rule, but it is a rule, and therefore the umpires have to follow it. And I think... He's got a right. I think it might be the impact that is outside of off. I don't think there's any bad involved, but we will check regardless, just to be on the safe side. Here we go. Confirming what we already know, which is there is no bad involved. Let's see. All right, pitch in line, impact in line as well. And there you have it. That decision has to be overturned. Like I said, it was surprising to me when he gave it not out. It looked pretty straight on to me. I thought maybe the impact might save him, but no, not even the impact can save him. Wakanda forever. Here we go. Reverting the decision. Sekunda Raza has gone as well. So Afghanistan is in all sorts of trouble here. Like I said, if you get close to that 100 mark, it's not going to be easy. Not in England. Rashid Khan, now he can bat a bit. Let's not forget that. Oh, it's given him a bit of room. That was not a great delivery. And it's been punished, just like it deserved. That's a very good shot from Kurtza. It's been very quiet at the other end. He's been out there for a very long time, but he's only faced two deliveries. And on that third delivery, he smashed it over the road for six. That is just what Afghanistan needed, though. They've lost quick wickets, and a lot of them. Need to get some runs on the board. Oh, missed it. Missed it completely. Kurtz has gone. Yet another wicket falls for Afghanistan. It's not looking good at all for him. It's a very good delivery. It was a ripper of a delivery from Reza. And John Pierre Kotsa from Namibia is gone for six runs. 
Ahmed Raza, by the way, is a playing for his own nation. He is from UAE. Malassar Bukhari, speaking of players from the UAE, Malassar Bukhari is also from the UAE. Oh, actually, he's from Netherlands, sorry, not the UAE. It's a good shot from Bukhari. One bounce and four runs. Netherlands, not UAE. I mixed it up. It's a lovely pull from Rashid Khan, and that's 50 up. A loss of seven wickets. They've got three wickets in hand. Now, like I said, Rashid Khan can bat, and that's whom they'll be relying on. And he's a captain as well, so he's got to lead by example, just like uh, the other captain did. I forgot his name. What's his name? His name is Mustafa. That's it. <laughs> Took me a while. Ooh. Good delivery. It's a bit too wide, but no, he's not giving it. By the way, Sampal Kami, the bowler from Nepal. And another interesting fact, the coach for Nepal in this tournament is actually from Nepal. Yep, gotcha. Oh, that's a good shot from Rashid Khan. One bounce and four runs. All right, the game is not over yet. It's not over yet, not still. Rashid Khan is out there. Wait. Full toss, straight to the fielder. Yeah. Well, there you have it. <laughs> Kami's taking care of that problem. The Rashid Khan problem. <laughs> all right, eight wickets down. So, Afghanistan now in all sorts of trouble. They've only got two wickets, all tail enders, no batsmen left. And uh, they've not got too many deliveries left either. Mahmoud takes a lovely catch. Rashid Khan gone for 12 of nine. He needed to stay out there for a bit longer, but he wanted to take on the bowlers as well because he doesn't have that much time, nor does he have that much wickets. Andy McBrien comes out to bat the Irish international. You never know which way it's going to go. Madhassar Bakhari, oh, he's taking him on. Lovely shot over. Mid-wicket into the cow corner. Nearly clears the road for six. But will collect four in the end. Madraza is from UAE, playing for UAE. One of the few players who is actually playing for the nation he's from. Lovely shot from Bahari. You hardly knew you, mate. I thought they didn't have any batters left, but Bahari's like, no, wait, hold on a second. I'm still here. Do not forget about me. And, well, we can't, because he keeps reminding us, Bahari. He's gone for yet another boundary there. That's going to be 16 runs for Bahari of just seven deliveries. Game is very much on. Oh, that's a good shot. There's a feeler coming under it. I believe that will go all the way for six, and it does. The game is very much on. McBrien takes him on. And he smashed that one away for the maximum result, bringing some life into this game. Oh boy, which way is this one gonna go? Good shot into extra cover. That'll race away to the boundary for four. 22 runs for Bukhari of 10 deliveries, 220 strike rate. Just two more wickets, and that's the end. Oh, well, there's one of them. Well, it's actually gone onto the, yeah. the wicket, so that's out. <laughs> Lovely delivery. Took the pace off of that one. Oh, look at that. It's been given us an LBW rather than a clean bold or a bold out. That's a Bahari gone for 22. A very good innings comes to an end. Imran Haider now. He is the guy from UAE. I confused the two. Saad bin Zafar. It's coming on to ball now. And uh, he plays for Canada. He's playing for UAE here now. Let's see which way is this game going to go. It's a good shot from McBride out of the gap. They have to go for two at least there. And they will go for two. All right, lovely bit of running. 17 required of 11 now and just one wicket in hand. Oh, it's a good shot. I think that's going to be a six. McGra McBride. <laughs> Hit one for the maximum before, and now he's hit one again. Just 11 runs required now. It's making it look easy. It's making it look too easy. Andy McBrien. Who would have thought he's the one who's going to come in clutch? He's going to have a bit of room. Lovely shot over point. Just about clears him. That is exactly what he wanted. And that's exactly what he's got. Four more runs. Seven runs required of eight deliveries now. Less than run a ball. But they have got one wicket in hand. So one little mistake and that's the end for Afghanistan. 
Way too much room. Oh, that's a lovely shot. That's going to be four. So, three runs required in the last over. Should be easy, like I keep saying. It is the last wicket, so let's not forget that. And also, these are tailenders, although McBrien is playing like a proper batsman. Let's not forget he's not. And, well, it's Imran Heather who's actually on strike. He'll be facing his first ever delivery. Look at the field set. Love it. Oh, that's gone. That's four runs. And that is the game right there. Afghanistan have won. What a comeback. That is quite a comeback. I thought Afghanistan was done, but they have come back into this game. Clinched victory from the jaws of defeat. Rashid Khan gets them out of the match because he was very good with the bat and even better with the ball. Very exciting first game. I hope all the remaining games are like this. Close thrilling comes down to the very last over. Pretty much everyone had to perform here. And uh, Joe Root's game does not go in vain in the end. They win the game. All right, so here are the highest wicket takers so far. I mean, you would have known already because it's only been one game. Three and three tied. Rashid Khan Ali Khan. Here are the highest run scorer. Curtis Kamfer. What a player he's turning out to be. Unfortunately, his lovely 39 of 19 deliveries ended in a defeat, but that's all right. It's part of the game. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Congratulations to Tommy. Commiserations to Abdullah, the coach of UAE. And uh, yeah, I hope I'll see you guys in the next game. In the game number two, which will be the first game in Group B. And yeah, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, do drop a like, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Do follow me in my social medias. That's where I pick people for the leagues. Also, do consider becoming a channel member. Uh, that's another way you can become, uh, you can participate in these leagues. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, have a nice.